最宽的肩膀，扛得住誓言不改变。我、哦、当强烈的信念，让命运都无言，浪漫成。我的壮烈是无悔的经典。哦，不要想的爱是深爱，想不尽的存在却无处不在。维持爱到伤害，愿所爱,爱，安然横渡星海。感情一生挂怀，最无私的深爱是绝不要伤的。Brother, I'm leaving today. Tianyu's having me discharged. Have you fully recovered? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have. That's good then. <laughs> By the way, I think Wei Yang was the one who brought these fruits for you. How thoughtful of her. I'm so glad you have her to look after you. <laughs> And I'm just as relieved that Tianyu looks after you too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take care of yourself. I'll come visit you when I have time. Welcome home. <laughs> Give me a minute. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 hey. Leave it. I'll take care of it. Here, have some tea. It's the recipe you taught me. Thank you, Chenyo. Careful, it's hot. Take a nap. Once you finish the tea, rest well. The office just called, so I need to go back to work. Okay, sure, go ahead. Just leave your bags as they are. I'll take care of it. Mm-hmm. He's always wanted to introduce her to me. Your brother. He really does have a knack of choosing the right talents for the group. But when it comes to women... <sighs> He's so short-sighted. It's unbelievable.
Anyway, enough about him. It's been some time since you graduated. What do you plan to do? Grandpa, I don't have any plans just yet. Actions speak louder than words, Jianan. Young people like you should be going out there and accepting challenges. You're only good at causing all kinds of trouble. And when you don't, I see it as good news. Grandpa... You know, my brother already takes care of the family business. Somebody's got to stay indoors and look after you. Otherwise, who'd keep you company when brother and Zhang Sheng are too busy spending time with each other, don't you think? Just as I expected, you'd still be up. Yeah, I am, and so are you. You just left work? I brought you some snacks. You should eat something first. taking me to the Shanghai Jewelry Fair. The diamond necklace with the turquoise was really impressive. Wei Young, the turquoise often represents power as well as success. Turquoise are more commonly seen in ancient societies like Egypt, for example. The ancient Aztecs also believe that turquoise is even more valuable than gold. If I can recall correctly, the Heshibi stated in Return the Jade Intact to Zhao was also partly made of turquoise. I'm not entirely sure. Um, hey, Shenyan. What is it? I believe that you know, there's someone in my heart whom I love so deeply. I know that. And I hope you two have a happy future together. But since him and I graduated, you and I have grown more and more close. Do you think I'm trying to pursue you? I just think we should clear things up between us. Seems like you take relationships seriously. Well, of course. It's my first love. I've been protecting it since I was younger years ago. Wei Young, you know sometimes attitude or purpose isn't needed. When two people become closer, sometimes it just means they enjoy spending time together. So Wei Young, just take it easy. A healthy relationship doesn't need that much work. But I believe that love does take work, and that it needs to be protected. Protected? You sound like you're in a battleground. Is that an overstatement? All right, all right. Then protect your love. I'll respect what you believe in. <laughs> <laughs> Have some tea. Oh, thank you. Why, what is it? What are you staring at? Um... My grandpa just came back from Hong Kong. And I would like... to introduce you to him. Chen Yu. Uh... Oh. You're right. <laughs> it can wait. It doesn't have to happen in the next couple of days. It's all right. I'm going with you.
Go ahead, just say it. You would like me to meet Zhang Sheng, is that it? I won't. You may go. End of discussion. Is there a problem? Grandpa, please, I'm serious. Even if you disagree, at least give me a chance to hear me out. Hear you out? And what am I supposed to hear you out for? Well, it would depend on the difference between what I see and what others would see. Grandpa, in your eyes, Zhang Sheng may be a girl with a lot of issues. But actually, the truth is, she's outgoing and positive. If that's not good enough to convince you, then let me tell you the Zhang Sheng I know. <sighs> Zhang Sheng got separated from her very own brother, and she became homeless after. But she never complained about it, because she believed he was better off that way. Maybe in your opinion, that's what she should do. But in my opinion, she sacrificed her own happiness for the good of other people. Would I not love a girl like Zheng Sheng? She sacrificed her own happiness just for other people? You raised me since I was very little. From my birthday parties, graduation, my first car, to my first company. You never missed a happy moment in my life. Now I have met the girl I love. I'd like to formally introduce her to you, Grandpa. I really believe that you would like her. Zhang? Jin Liang. What's up? Mm. Chen Yu wants me to meet his grandpa tomorrow. Really? Uh huh. Then that's great! That must mean Tian Yu is very serious about you. But I don't know why his grandpa agreed to meet me all of a sudden. Oh, don't think too much about it. Now listen, try to get some sleep and plenty of it. Prepare to put your best foot forward when you meet him tomorrow. But Jin Liang. Just go to bed. I'll come over in the morning. Grandpa, here, have a seat. Seems I arrived earlier than expected. Um, she just called and said she got stuck in traffic. I'll check on her again. I'll be there in a second. All right. She'll be here in a moment. Hello, Dr. Liu? Zheng Sheng. Yan Sheng lost consciousness. He doesn't look good. I thought you said she'd be here shortly. Tian Yu. Honesty is incredibly important.
Zhongsheng. Dr. Lu, how's my brother doing? Oh, his assigned doctor checked on him. The blood clot in his brain compressed the nerves, disrupting blood circulation and causing him to fall unconscious. He's awake now. You can go see him. Okay. I thought you were already well. Why did Dr. Lu say something was wrong with a blood clot in your brain? Say something! Zhongsheng. How long are you going to hide the truth from me? You pretended you didn't know me before. And you're finally back, but you're not sharing anything with me. Brother. Do you think I wouldn't worry about you if you kept secrets from me? I know you're worried about me. That's why I would rather have you worry about me than have you visit me. Do you know why, Zhongsheng? Because I dreaded. That's why I didn't want to see you after Paris. Because I felt nothing but dread. <laughs> but nothing is more dreadful than to lose you in my life. Zhongsheng. I knew all along about the blood clot in my brain. I was afraid that you wouldn't be able to take it if one day I lost my memory again. I know how miserable you were when I disappeared. But I didn't want to give you any false hopes. So I pretended that that I could no longer recognize you at all. You already left together with Chen Yu. What are you doing here now? How's Liang Sheng? Is this really the girl that you love? She claims that she'll be with you, but still runs to Liang Sheng's side. Well, they've only reunited recently. You should give them the space they both need. You'll regret this. are already gone. My brother is my only family left. I understand. I'm sorry, Tianyu. For causing you so much trouble. You should be proud that, in the entire world, you're the only one who can do that to me. Sorry. If you really are sorry, then perhaps you can make it up to me in some way. What do you want me to do? You're being lazy again, leaving the thinking to me. How about... How about we get married? I'd love that. I hope you won't regret your promise, as well as your decision. Is there anything you'd like to explain? 
I apologize, Grandpa. Can you? That woman was unavailable at such an important occasion. Who knows what kind of humiliating thing she could do in the future? Tell me, what excuse do you plan to give her next time? I really am sorry. about we get married? I'd love that. I hope you won't regret your promise, as well as your decision. being reckless and I humiliated you where are you right now I'm in a bar stay there I'm on my way I'm going to pick you up Let's go home. Chanyeol, I blew so many chances recently. Your grandpa finally agreed to meet me, but I managed to... It's all right. He will understand. Do you think that I'm a troublemaker? Are you tired of being with me? You know what? The better you treat me, the guiltier I feel. Sometimes I ignored your feelings, all because of my brother. I can imagine you must feel upset for being neglected. It's 
It's been four years. We lost four years of being together. From here on out, I will never allow you to leave me again. I'm never going to leave you again. Let's get married. Oh, 不要伤的爱，是深爱，何苦总是？ Are you sure about that? More sure than I've ever been in my life. 放下来，我打开，像大海的胸怀。Please hold on. Hey, give me the chart. Thank you. Hey, do you have another Let source for this one? Everybody, the list of nominees for the best director of the Qingrui Film Festival has been released just recently. There was only one nominee from Shanghai on the list, director Zhou Ran. We must act fast. Tianyin Magazine has already expressed their interest to pursue an interview with director Zhou Ran. We already failed to get an exclusive scoop on Amy's return after she gave birth. So this time we can't afford to make any more mistakes. The boss has already instructed us to leave Friday's layout specifically for Joe's interview and nothing else. If we don't, then all I know is we're all going to be dead. Hey, Peter. <laughs> Chief editor. I think you're perfect for the job. I heard from others that you chased people to security check for an interview. You'd know what to do. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me and assigning me such an important job. But I'm working on a bunch of urgent news right now. I'm already under a lot of pressure. Uh, Joran's interview is really important, but I can't just give up on the tasks I have now. So I don't many excuses. Think... You know what? Get out of my sight. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, Wang. Uh, Chief editor. Uh huh. I have an upcoming trip to Beijing. I've been up for days brainstorming on plans I have for work. Plus, I haven't been home for several days. So many excuses. So what? Do you all plan to just leave a blank page on our own magazine? Is that it? Chief editor, I'll do it. You will. Fantastic! That's good news. See that? See Jin Liang's attitude and dedication to this magazine, huh? Jin Liang, keep in mind that since you haven't submitted your report just yet, uh, we're going to publish the article on Friday, which means that you will have to submit the article on Thursday instead, at 3 p.m. Because if you don't, then that means that you and I are both going to be dead. It's not a problem. I won't allow that to happen. Perfect. Now everyone, go back to work. Go on, carry on. Okay. Are you crazy? That's Joran. So what? It's just an interview. I like interviewing people, especially difficult people, the ones who are hard to deal with. You're naive. He's mysterious and never accepts any interviews. He doesn't even like having his photos taken. He wasn't there in the Qingrui Film Festival when they released the nominations during the press conference. Oh, really? It's true. <laughs> He's excellent at hiding himself. Good luck finding him. There's nothing I can't do. Good day. I'm from Yangchen Metropolis Magazine. Uh -huh. Regarding Fly with a Light being nominated in the Qingrui Film Festival as the only local film, I'd like to interview director Zhou Ren regarding this. Uh, you see, I'm a reporter and I have several questions for him. So I was wondering if you could please help us make an appointment with him? I'm sorry. 
director Joe made it very clear to decline all interviews. Uh, uh, hold on a second. The film will need an outlet to get promoted, and we're the right people who can provide a platform for it. Wait for the press conference. He will show up then. Director Joe is nominated as the best director for the Chingrui Film Festival, and I do believe that he must have a lot of input regarding his own masterpiece. Mm, I think this interview would be an advantage for him to build a connection with the audience. Well, about that. Director Joe says his thoughts were already expressed in the film. No other explanation. Thank you very much for calling us. We're looking forward to your article. <sighs> Hey, what brings you here? Grandpa asked for some chicken soup. Oh, he's still asleep. Oh. <laughs> Let me help you. Take this. Mm. Tianyol? Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Joran? Isn't he the director who just won an award? Yeah, that's him. He's a genius, but he's weird. Um, he doesn't accept interviews, and the only photo of him I could find online is very blurry. So I intended to visit the film company and get more information about him. But they wouldn't let me. I can't find him, let alone interview him. So then, what do you plan to do now? I have no idea. I'm totally screwed. The deadline is 3 p.m. Thursday. Really? That soon? Do you have enough time? Let's talk later. I have to get back to work. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Director Joran's interview. I'm totally at a loss. I really have no idea. He doesn't use WeChat, and I don't think he uses Weibo either. The guy's like a hermit. Shadow Puppet? Hello? Hi, how are you doing? I finally got a hold of you. In 1997, were you the class monitor in Changxi High School? <sighs> Great, I'd like to ask about one of your classmates, Joran. <sighs> oh. You mean, he wanted to be a Shadow Puppet artist? Here, take a look at this. Apparently, Joran was raised by his grandpa. His grandpa was a famous shadow puppet artist in China. Based on the recent places he's been to, he seems to be collecting information on these puppets. But there are many varieties of it. He might be after the Hunan, Jiangxi, and Chaozhou shadows. Hmm. But I haven't met him in person. But the art research organization might be able to give us some clues. Good. Then try to contact them now. Schedule an interview right away. Okay. You know, Jin Liang, since the very moment you joined our magazine, you really lifted my hopes up. <laughs> you may go back to work. Yes, sir. What's his condition? Based on the latest evaluation, Mr. Chang's condition is stable. However, we would like him to stay in the hospital for a short time. I'll schedule the expert consultation for further diagnosis. <laughs> but, in my experience, you shouldn't worry. Thank you. Please let me know if there's anything I can do. Well, for now, there is no need. Let's wait for the test results, and then we can try. Thanks so much for coming back to treat my cousin. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, 
I wasn't able to go and see Grandpa last time. How am I supposed to apologize to him? That's all right. He knew it was because of Liangsha. He didn't blame you. But even so, it was still my fault. <sighs> okay, listen. Don't worry about it. Liangsha may get bored, since he's all alone in the hospital. Go visit him more when you have free time, hmm? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is the film contract. Here are the financial reports. You look happy today. Hmm. All right, I'll go now. I haven't seen you all day today. Do you think you could send me a selfie? I think he is in Jiangxi. Where are you? Are you in Jiangxi right now? Uh, yeah. I'm already here, sir. That's great. That's the spirit of a true reporter. Did you find him yet? Not yet. I just went to Shadow Puppet Studio. I was able to gather some clues. Now I'm on my way to the next studio and try my luck there. Hurry up then. I'll meet you tomorrow in my office, 3 p.m. Sure thing, Chief. I'll see you. <sighs> He's at Shenzhen Tea House? How did you know? Excuse me, sir. Good day to you. I'm Jin Liang from Yangchen Metropolis Magazine. Do you happen to know director Jaran? I want to interview him, sir. Oh, I see. Looks like you didn't do your research. He doesn't accept interviews. Uh, yes, I know that. But still, I would like to give it a shot. Has director Joe been here recently? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't tell you that. Why is that? I don't like my customers getting disturbed. Uh, then that would mean he's a frequent customer. Hey, I never said that. Well, sorry to bother you. May I ask you when the last bus to the train station is gonna leave? You'd have to wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow? Hmm? <sighs> you wanna go there? Yes. Just turn right, ma'am, and it's about 12 kilometers from here. That far? Could we rent a car? Of course you can. That's great. We'll come by tomorrow in the morning then. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. I'll give you a good price bye. for it. See you in the sure, bye. Thanks. Good night. <clears throat> Hi. What are you watching over there? This film was directed by Joran when he was in college. Oh. That looks pretty old. How did you find it? My friend found it for me. Precious, isn't it? Carry on. Just let me know if you need anything at all. Sure. Anything at all. Okay. Okay.
Thanks so much. You're still up this late? Yeah, I'm trying to do some research. <sighs> Why did you want to interview Joran anyway? <laughs> well, it's actually a long story. Mm, I appreciate all his works. And because I also understand what he wants to express in his films. That's why I want more people in the media to know him and appreciate his films as much as I do. So how did you find this place? <laughs> well, that is also a long story. Here, I'll show you something. Oh, what is it? <laughs> oh, it's a map. That's right. I've been doing a lot of research. See, CC Wetland in Hangzhou, Senju in Zhejiang. Right here, and here. These are the places he's been to recently. So just based on this very map right here, I just made a bold guess that he's possibly in Jiangxi now. And I think he's currently doing research on shadow puppet making, which could be the subject of his upcoming film. My goodness. <laughs> That's actually impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Out of curiosity, if you were to meet Jordan, what questions would you ask him? Hmm. I'll ask him about the film Fly with the Light. If it's about the ups and downs of a family. In my opinion, the storyline in that film is all about the love between the grandfather and his grandson. I have read somewhere that he made this film in memory of his late grandfather. I've gathered a lot of information about his youth. Trying to figure out what kind of childhood he could have had when he was growing up. I learned that he used to live with his grandpa before he went to high school. His grandfather raised him. He also wanted to be a shadow puppet artist since he was very little. But instead, he became a director. So I'm very curious to know if he experienced some sort of struggle or hesitation all these years. Uh, for instance, this short film he made after college was about shadow puppets. And now he's doing research on it again. So in my opinion, he never forgot his grandpa's achievements. And also, I believe he wants to promote the art of shadow puppetry in his own way. Hmm. Now you've done your research. Sing, 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 sing. 